Hey there, Chelsea from Making Manzanita. Today we're gonna teach you how to build a DIY covered firewood rack and we're sharing the plans for free in the description below. We are working on a new project this week. We um, are taking a little, tiny little bit break from our living room. Um, now that the weather is nice and working on a fun outdoor project, we are teaming up with Craig and using their new pocket hole jig 720, which is right over there. Um, and we are building a firewood storage rack. Um, and we're gonna put it outside by our shed to hold the firewood for our fire pit, which we installed last fall. Um, and we're getting started today. So we're using a combination, uh, this is all cedar, two by fours, what are these, one by fours? And then the top roof, we're gonna be using these fence pickets um, and stocking them up so it looks like a roof. Um, but the two by fours will be kind of the main structure and then the one by fours are gonna be slats on the sides. So we've got, um, we're both working on this today. So we've got our little cutting station set up. This is one of the reasons why we have multiple miter saws. Um, so we can both work at the same time. You ready to get started? So you wanna start off by cutting the wood down to size. Again, we are sharing the free woodworking plans for this in the video's description. And it has a cut list with all of the uh, dimensions for the wood. So you can just refer to that if you wanna build a firewood storage rack, just like this one. We are using miter saws, but you could also use like a cutting station or a circular saw if you don't have a miter saw. Um, and then after you get everything cut down to size, you can move on to drilling your pocket holes. And again, the location of the pocket holes are all detailed in the woodworking plans. Here we are using the uh, Craig 720 Pro pocket hole jig, which I absolutely love. We use it all the time, highly recommend it. And we have a whole nother video over on YouTube um, that walks you through the entire process of using this really detailed uh, if you wanna take a look at that. So next you wanna start by assembling the base and the sides of the structure and you just do that with the two by fours there and pocket hole joinery. We just used a two by four turned on its side as a spacer and that was really handy. So you can see here, here's a closer look at all the pocket holes. There are so many on this project. And then uh, you can move all on. Right. So Logan has finished assembly of the main pieces of um, the firewood storage rack. So these are the sides. Um, so you can see the pieces that we were cutting down, the um, one by fours are assembled here with pocket holes. So we've got tons of pocket holes on this project. Um, so these are gonna be the sides and then we'll have a similar piece on the back with more slots. And then the bottom is right here and this is a little more sturdy with two by fours, I believe these are. They're not two by threes, no, yeah. And you can see if I get the phone down here, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to see. Here we go. Um, all of those are attached with pocket holes as well. Um, so there's no screw holes on the top. So this is the bottom that will go on the ground and then we'll have a roof as well. But all of that's gonna kind of get put together once it is in place. And I will go show you now where we are putting it in our backyard. All right, so here is the backyard that we worked on last fall. If you guys were around for that, um, you may remember it's a little messy. We need to get out here and clean things up now that the weather is warming up. But this is um, the whole area that we renovated last year. Um, so we added this fire pit and paver patio. We added all this. This is rubber mulch, it needs to be cleaned up. Um, added the playground, that grass definitely needs to be mowed, but we added all that grass. So we've done a ton of work back here and we're kind of shifting our attention over to this area um, later this year. But this is where the fire pit or the firewood storage rack is going to go. So you can see here, we just have all the firewood um, on the ground here. And this, we don't use this firewood for our house. Um, it's just used for our fire pit out here. So. Um, what we're gonna do is remove all the firewood, just get it out of the way, and then we're gonna have to level that ground out because you can see it's kind of sloped. And then we're gonna put cinder blocks down, similar to our shed, um, so it'll just rest off the ground a bit and we'll get it nice and level that way. And then um, we're gonna be staining it as well. So 
be working with Wagner and using our sprayer, our paint sprayer, but we're gonna be using it for stain, which I haven't tried yet, um, so I'm super excited to do that, but we're gonna spray it once it's in place, so I'll have to kind of tarp things down so it doesn't get too messy out here. Um, but that's where it's going, so let me know if you guys have any questions about this, and we'll keep you apprised of our progress. All right, so you can see here, Logan's making good progress. Um, he got the ground leveled out, center box on, face on, and then one side is over here, and he's getting ready to bring over the other side. And then the back, you're just gonna install those flat by slat, right? Yep. Yeah. So he's gonna get it all installed, put the headers on the top, and we're gonna leave the roof off for now because I'm going to spray this with stain, like I mentioned. Um, so we wanna do that kind of before the roof's on. It'll be a little easier to get the stain everywhere we need. So that's gonna be pretty cool, guys. For the connection of the base to those side panels, we attached it with two and a half inch construction screws. And then those vertical supports were all added to the back once both sides were installed. And this is how it looks when it was all assembled. And again, we left the roof off for this part and we just put the kind of framing up there, uh, up top, there it is. And so that it would just be a little easier to stain. So for staining, I'm using this Olympic Maximum uh, stain, which I ended up loving. It's a water-based stain. I've never used it before. And we applied it with our Wagner Flexio 3000 paint sprayer. And I had never applied uh, or used the paint sprayer for stain. So this was kind of a fun project for me to try this for the first time. I actually love using the sprayer for stain. I think it's actually way easier than using it for paint. So that was a fun little discovery. And I have a whole video on what you need to do if you're using stain with your paint sprayer. So be sure to check that out for a lot more details on this process. But we got the stain applied. Uh, we went with the natural cedar uh, color and that paint sprayer really helped get it all into all those nooks and crannies. I can't imagine wiping the stain on with all of these slats and edges and little corners. It would just be tragic. So I'm glad I decided to use a sprayer for this part. And then what you're not gonna see here in the video is after it was uh, dried, we added the cedar plank stat slats, uh, fence pickets is what we were using, to the roof. And we just stacked them on top of each other to kind of get it a little angled edge there. And we just did that with a two inch galvanized nails from the top of Brad Nailer. So this is how it looks like it got all loaded up with the wood that we had on hand. And this is just the wood that we keep in our backyard for our fire pit, which is right there on the paver patio. And I love that it is covered. Um, it's, you definitely want to have somewhere to store your wood outdoors that's covered so it's not getting rained on and snowed on and dumped on. So if you guys enjoyed this video, I hope you did, but be sure to let us know. Push that thumbs up button, leave a comment, uh, let me know if you have any questions, download the free firewood holder plans, they're in the description so you can build it yourself. And then while you're here, we would of course love it if you'd subscribe to our channel. We share weekly DIY and renovating videos just like this one. And then be sure to check out this video next. I think you will love it. All right, we'll see you next week. Bye guys.